So as you can see, this is not actually Duel Links or Master Duel. This is YG o Omega. It is not uh, official Yu-Gi-Oh playing software, but it is pretty good. And the best part is that all the cards are absolutely free to obtain. You don't need to spend any money or gems or anything to get them. You can just play whatever you want. And also it is not manual like a dueling book. So you can play it similarly to how you play Master Duel. So this is the Crystron deck that I have made. I have been playing with this deck for a while, but today we are not doing a deck showcase. We are instead trying to make a custom card for our deck. It is possible to add custom cards to uh, Yu-Gi-Oh simulators that are not official, like YG Omega. So we are going to try to do that. And since YG Omega is not a manual simulation, you can add your own code to make it behave like cards in Duel Links or Master Duel instead of having to do everything yourself. So first of all, I will have to think of one of the major weaknesses of Crystals that I want to solve, which there is quite a few. I think the biggest issue of Crystals is that they don't actually have a one card starter, which is kind of a problem for um, decks in the modern day. You will at least need a card that mills Fistburn or mills uh, Sulfafnir, and another card for Sulfafnir to discard. A two card combo that loses to a single hand trap isn't very good. So our goal is to at least make the deck have a one card combo. Another problem with this deck is the consistency, because this deck needs a two card combo. You can't start a combo. If you draw too many Scramble Cyclers, you can't start a combo. If you draw too many Crystal cards and no Soft with Nier, you can't start your combo, so there is that issue right there. So, um, having a Link one solves both issues. You can make it a Link one with basically any Crystron, and then you can start your combos with that. And also, since all the Crystrons that are not tuners have graveyard effects, it's really useful to just normal summon any of them, and then make it a Link one, and then you can use their graveyard effects by banishing them. For example, you can just normal summon Fistburn, make it a Link one, banish the Fistburn, get a search and you can just do your combo. And another thing I want the card to do is to compensate for the banned card Hulky Fibrax because it is a really good card in Crystrons. We are going to try to give our monster some functionality that it lets us maybe summon a tuner from our deck, maybe only a Crystron tuner to prevent it from being too overpowered. With that in mind, let's start making our custom card. So here is the draft that I made. It is a Link 1, Having an arrow putting down, of course, and it only needs one non-link crystal monster, so it prevents you from just linking itself into itself. And it cannot be used as link material to turn it as link summoned. I'm gonna add that in just to uh, prevent people from doing Aurora Dawn combos with this card, which is not my intention. I don't want this card to make the deck become some kind of Aurora on Turbo. I want to stay true to the nature of Crystrons, which is popping your own monsters and synchro something during your opponent's turn with your Crystron tuners. So I'm going to add that clause in to just prevent some uh, crazy one-card combo from uh, making like free negates or something. So uh, if this card is Link Summoned, you can send a Crystron monster from your deck to your graveyard. So this is basically Scrap Recycler. <laughs> And the good thing about that is that you don't have to draw Scrap Recycler, you can make this with any Crystal monster that you can normal summon. So that solves the uh, biggest issue of the deck, which is consistency and also uh, having needing a two card combo, because what you can do now is normal summon uh, Fistburn, make the Link 1, send Self of Nier, and then the Fistburn can search a card for you to discard with Self of Nier, and then you can revive the Self of Nier, and then you can do your combo. And since this card can't be used as link material, uh, you won't have uh, two monsters on your field to link summon if you don't have an extender. Which means that uh, after you summon a monster with self of fear, you will be left with one crystal monster and the link one, which you can't uh, make a link two of those because uh, this card can't be used as link material. Which means you're forced to use your um, monster that you special summoned to pop your link one and uh, summon a tuner from deck, which locks you into machine synchros, 
which is good because um, I don't want people to abuse this card to do some kind of crazy combos again. So I added in a second effect that allows it to float when it is destroyed, both by battle or card effect. So the idea is that you can use your Christian non shooters to pop this card and um, proc its effect, which allows you to summon a Christian shooter from a deck in defense position. So basically, it's like Soul of Fear, but it can only summon uh, Christian shooters. So that is kind of a like kind of like a Hulk replacement. So instead of just summoning any shooter on summon, it it forces you to uh, pop it itself first and trigger its effect to only special summon a Crystron Shooter from your deck. And of course, both effects are harmless per turns, so people don't, ju don't just use this effect like three times per turn. So we are going to try to code this into the game. Um, I could just make it manual, which isn't that fun. And then also I want to make it kind of like uh, a card in Duel or Monster Duel, where you can actually click buttons and activate effects and do all sorts of stuff. So I spent a bit of time to learn how to code for YGO Pro and YGO Omega. They basically use the same kind of code for the cards. It took a bit of time, but it isn't too hard. The game actually uses Lua as their programming language, which I have never learned before, but, but the syntax is pretty repetitive for a lot of cards. There are tons of cards in the game that I could just look at the code and see what I can copy from. So I can just take uh, codes from uh, multiple other cards, just piece them together, and make my card work. So I'm pretty sure what I wrote will work in game. Let's see if that works. Okay, so I have added the card into the game. I've also added an artwork for it. It, it isn't very good, but it will do for now. So it has successfully been added to the game. You can see the card text is all here. Uh, we have the link arrows, the attributes, name, everything. So it should work. Okay, so let's see if the card actually works in game. Uh, let's number some of Fizzburn. That's basically our starter right now. Okay, the um, extra deck is flashing. Okay, we can link some our link one. Okay, it does activate. <laughs> I don't know how the the name became unknown, but um, it should work. Yep, it works. We'll send Sophie here. Okay, it works. We're gonna this uh, turn. Let's add a uh, uh, Smiger, and then we can Sophie here. Pitch the Smiger. Summon the Sophie here. Pop itself. Do the combo. And we're gonna summon the Turtle. And okay, let's see if the second effect works. We're gonna use Turtle. Pop the Link. I will chain ghost spell, uh, I will I'll chain ghost ogre, I mean. And then we're gonna summon our run. Okay! It has, uh, effect activation. That is really good. Okay, so it works. Okay, so I guess let's build a deck using our new copy of Link 1. Obviously, we can't actually use this card against other people because they don't have the scripts or the card art or the descriptions and everything. But um, in theory, you can send someone your uh, card data and they will be able to uh, see this card being played. So I might try to maybe do a collab with someone and we can both make some custom cards and send each other the scripts so we can play against each other with these custom cards. So I have made some modifications of my Crystron deck. If I were to play with someone with using my uh, custom Crystron card, this is probably what I will play. So even though we drew three hand traps, we can actually still do combo because of our link one. Let's so we'll summon our turtle. Using our link one, our link one will uh, pitch a health of here, as usual. Just got our shooter, which is not which is not ideal, but we are going to have to do it. And then we can actually summon a Fistburn. We didn't have Fistburn in rotation. Activate Fistburn, popping on Link 1. And uh, let's make run. And then our uh, Link 1 will summon the other one. And then, and then what we can do is actually make a copy of Super Heavy Samurai Mushashi. 
which lets us recycle a card from our grave voucher in hand. Let's add our Citri. And then we can activate the grave voucher of our soul to summon back our Citri. And then we can end the turn here. Alright, I'll put in a uh, normal summon summon. Let's wait. But, yeah, let's wait for him to set all this stuff and activate all this stuff. Okay, that's everything that he could do. Let's activate our run. So, let's make our Axel Synchron, which is level 5. And then we can activate the Axel Synchron effect of an satellite. Well, let's see. Satellite can. Uh, Destroy, yeah, up to the cards in graveyard. So let's pop the the monster and the Umi. Why not? Let's do that. And then let's see what cards do we have in grave. We can make the yeah. Let's make uh let's make a Dawn Dragon. So that's two interruptions, even without Fistburn or having Smiger, which is really good. Okay, let's actually do this. Since we haven't normal summoned yet, we can actually normal summon one of our hand traps. Like, uh, let's normal summon Ghost Ogre. <laughs> and then we can actually use the Ghost Ogre, the token, and the uh, Synchro to make our Tress Zero. Tress Zero, Vanish, Vanish, Vanish. And then uh, we can now link our link horn. Okay, let's try to play another game and see how well this goes. Okay, this hand is pretty good because we have this burn. And we can just link it off while a broken link one. And we build salt in here. And we can, uh. Okay, let's see, pitch the uh, smoke. Make turtle. Turtle effect. Pop the link one. Make the tree. Link one uses an effect to make the line. And then we can. Yeah, let's do this. And this can actually grab back. Uh, let's grab out round. And then we can make a uh, negate. And then grab entry, entry is a really good card. And we can grab follow up. Let's grab Rose Mix. And then we can set to enter. Oh, he's just ending to right there. So let's actually the entry. He's summoning the two tuners. And then... Uh, uh, if our opponent has more set back, we can actually summon the um, turtle, make a level 5, and then synchro them both into uh, Crystal and Phoenix, which banishes every single back row that our opponent has. But um, since our opponent doesn't have that many back row, we can just make a Satellite Warrior, which is also really good. Uh, Cool. And then we can just pop, pop. That's really, really good. And then, uh, let's try to make the regular trash. We can use a thing. We can, um, target the token. Send, uh, this burn. Now we have trash. Crazy. It even has the anime even has the animation from Master Duel, which is really cool. And banish one from graveyard, which is banished to the song wishes. Just banish one from hand. Nice. And then we can still combo. Let's grab impact this time. Because we don't have the crystal in hand. Actually we do because we can search one. But it doesn't really matter. Uh let's search uh, I guess let's have Rose next to the next turn. Just uh, set those two 
I guess. Change this attack. That's lethal. Oh. Attack. Attack. So you can probably see how much of a difference a single Link 1 can do. It might be a bit too good, but I think it's pretty fair for Chris Jones because Chris Jones itself isn't a really good deck. And also, I think I added enough restrictions to this card to make it not broken in making some kind of generic Aurorodon combo or something. So yeah, I might use this card in the future or even make more cards to play against someone in the future, hopefully, if I can find someone to play. And yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.